Well, today I'm putting on my plumber's hat, and this is actually this is going to be the, on the sewer side, the dirty side of things. We got problem when the water drains. There's a backup. We got stuff coming up in the shower. Well, if because this is a two-story house, so we got plumbing up here. When anything like the bathtub drains, like we got water pouring out out of this drain here, just gushing down all over the wall, making a mess. So we got a big we got a big drain pipe coming right here. Which is odd, and then we got another one right around. I'm gonna walk around the corner here and show you. Around this way, and then there's another sewer pipe going out the back of the house. So I got two pipes going out the back of the house, and I'm suspecting we got a blockage out past the house, but I'm trying to confirm that. Let me show you what it looks like outside. Okay, so outside we got a one clean out. So when you run water, you 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 get barely get a trickle of water coming through this drain. Yet water will be pouring inside the the basement. What the little weird part is, when you go on this side, we have two three-inch drains coming out of the back of the wall or the back of the house. So that's kind of, kind of odd, but that's the way they've done it. And so I'm suspecting these two are coming out, teeing together, and going out. So. Uh, so I suspect the clog is happening somewhere in this area because I'm getting, I got backup water coming up on, on both sides. In the toilet side, because this is, goes right into the back of that toilet, and this is where the washer, right behind the washer and dryer. I got water coming up there. So there's no, access, no way to clean up there, but I might, I think I'm going to cut open the wall. At least I can get access to that pipe. Maybe install a clean out. They may have to do some digging. I don't know. There might be a problem a bust of pipe roots don't know what i'm going to get into but all i can do is start start digging into it we'll see what we come up with all right step one let's try to find the pipe so i cut me a little slot here and i can feel it so i can feel the pipe there comes up go over and drops back down and then right over here on this side i can feel my stud so i'm gonna slice along here and come across give me an opening take it down kind of low so i can so I can see what we're dealing with, and I can always come back and put an access door. I was just going to show you these little drywall saws make quick work of this. So just as you get started, you can kind of feel for the studs, get an idea where they're at, and just follow it down. I don't want it to be too precise because I'll put a, another door or something back up here, anyways. Okay, now for the great reveal. That's what we got in the wall. So my plan is to cut this pipe. Put a clean out in here. Maybe I'll run a camera down there and see what's so I can try to get an idea of what's going on. Talk to you where this blockage is. Where this blockage is. I don't know if my camera will work, but I'm gonna try it. Okay, so my goal is to cut a nice straight line here, and sometimes that can be hard to do with a sawzall, it'll get sideways with you. So I take this little piece of plastic and I set it down where it bottoms out on this lower coupler, and then it gives me a nice straight edge. I can wrap it around. Take a magic marker to it, and I know exactly where to follow. I get a pretty straight cut across that. So I get that in there, and get that clean up in there. So I'm just hoping that pipe's empty. I think it is. Sometimes you get a surprise when you're cutting these sewer pipes. That's not fun. Okay, so failure number one: the little flexible camera won't, is not going to work for this. So my next trick is I'll take this little bladder, stick down there. Hook a water hose to it, it'll swell up, add pressure, and uh, see if it'll clear the clog or see if it backs up to on, on the toilet side. Kind of get an idea of what's going on and kind of sure you can watch the clean out trap and see what comes out at the other end. Oh, okay, here's an idea of how this works. That's how you got the water coming out of it here. And you can see it's a, it's a tight fit. It's holding it tight. Turn the water pressure off. Once the pressure goes down, then this will slide out. It's going to take a while. It's a long water hose. Hang on, sweet pea. Grab hold of that. There we go. Ta-da. So we're going to try to do the same thing in the wall. Let's see if we can't clear a clog. All right, so you know what we're doing. Because you can see right here, there to the right, there's a vent pipe. So you got to make sure you get down below that. Because if you don't get below it, you ain't going to do no good. So now I'm down below it. Now we're going to turn on some water kind of slowly and we're going to kind of watch what happens see if we can't clear a clog or see if it backs up somewhere okay so here's what i found out 
Remember, we got two pipes leaving the house. So this one, I just uh, applied water pressure to it. And after it run about four or five minutes, water started coming up in the toilet. Because remember, we got the toilet on this pipe. So that tells me we got a blockage somewhere, you know, and the, and the clean out is just past this wall. So the only thing I'm going to do is start digging, dig up these pipes and uh, see what's going on because there's a blockage. And it, actually, I haven't left this part out. This is like the third. She's had three different plumbers come out to try to fix this over the last six, eight months. And it's it, it keeps reoccurring. So just clearing the clog is not going to solve the problem. There's something causing the clog, uh, roots or something's going on. So looks like when you get a shovel and start digging. All right. You see, I got my super wife working, and we've kind of figured. I think we figured out where, where the problem's going to be. We got that drain leaving and that drain leaving. We started digging down. We we see where they're at. And then we ran to some poles, try to get them find out oh, where they here. intersect. Oh, she, she does. Oh, I no, have to walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought I had it. Because uh, what I did on this side, I took me a uh, an auger here, and I ran up this pipe. Just a little ways, and it hit some paper, hit, hit a clog. So, but but clearing a clog is not going to solve the problem because this keeps coming back. So, we're going to try to dig down to it and see if we can see any problem. They have to open up and change it. Maybe they put a a bad T or a crack. Maybe could be some roots, maybe from these vines and stuff getting in there. We'll soon find out. Sweet peas are digging. All right, I think my sweet peas found the problem. <laughs> yes, you did. You no. you dug it up. You're the winner. No, no winner, winner, no chicken dinner. So, uh, we'll know shortly. So, I think right behind here is a T. Yeah. I think the problem, you, you see what a jog this has? It's a little bit off. I think I found a good way to cor correct this. I ain't got that figured out yet. But, uh, the toilet paper is getting hung up there, and this has happened several times. They just blow it out, and they don't fix the problem. Because you can see what you need. Yeah. She wants the big stuff. All right. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. You can see what was happening when I added that water pressure to this pipe. It came down, hit the clog, and then came back up this pipe here, back up into the toilet, the shower, and everywhere, everywhere else. That was what was causing us all kinds of grief. But uh, we're getting closer now, little by little. Go, sweet pea, go! <laughs> okay, so now we have found the problem. The problem is the contractor did not do his job. Um, years ago, because that was the original sewer pipe, it only had one because it was an unfinished basement. And they finished the basement, so they added a toilet and shower and stuff, so they added another pipe. So they brought that pipe over, created a Y, and in, in doing so, I guess they had to cut the pipe to move it and stuff. But, but they didn't line it back up, and you can see it created this big gap, and now all the toilet paper hangs up on that, on that edge. Those pipes should be butted together. We should not have it. Should not have a huge gap. Uh, the other problem is these pipes are running a little bit of an angle, which causes a problem. Um, so what we're going to do? We're going to dig out. There's a wall right here. It goes into the fire bed. So we're going to dig that out. Pull this pipe out. Put in a new pipe. A new clean out. So we can butt it up like it's supposed to be, and put a, uh, a they put a real connector on it here, a coupling instead of the rubber point. And put a rubber coupling on the outside and, and a new clean out so that's my goal i think then we'll never have a problem this should never happen again but yeah like three trump plumbers before we came out and just cleared the clog but didn't fix the problem so it, it kept reoccurring over and over again okay back inside working on the clean out of course here's the tricky part getting a nice straight line so i used my little piece of plastic trick wrapped it around there till, till, that, till the both ends were even Inscribe me a line so if we'll get this to line up and have a nice smooth surface, no big gaps. So you get the saws on, make me a cut. Okay, so I'm doing a dry run before I glue stuff up. So everything's cut, gonna work good for me. So just give me some cleaner, some glue, glue this together, and uh, we'll go back outside and work on that pipe. Well, I assume most people have used cleaner and glue before, but in case you haven't, because you got the cleaner. Get that out. Get in there good and clean. Do a little more for good measure. Get 
the other side. Then we apply our glue, push it in there. It's kind of hard doing this with my hand. Oh, hang on. Jeez, I about made a mess, didn't I? All right. Get our glue. Good bunch of glue. Get the camera where it needs to be. All right, got that in there. Sit her down. Oh boy. Good, got that. And I've already got this glued, and I've got this piece glued. I'm gonna let it drop just a little, little bit. You see, I got a nice, clean butt joint here where the, where the two pipes come together. I just gotta tap this rubber sleeve down. I'm gonna make me a mark on the wall so I know where my joint is. So I'll tap this down about halfway. And then tighten up these tighten up these clamps so we get that secure. And I'll probably put me a little dope on these threads. Just sort of Teflon tape or something, whatever I got here to get a good seal. So let's get to finishing this up. Alright, so this part is all finished. Clean out is done. And I think what I'll do, stand back a little bit here. I'll just give me like a white piece of paneling, cut it out, fit that, because I I got the, the studs right here and here. Put bubble screw, screws in it, they cover it up so that way, you make an easy access door in the future. And it's just here in a laundry room, so it's no big deal. All right, so we got that fixed. Now we got to uh, work on the outside part, get it finished up. Okay, well, I think we got a plan. I'm doing a dry run here. One, one other thing I discovered this piece here, it wasn't even glued in, they just had it shoved in there when I was working with it. I noticed it was wiggling, no glue whatsoever. So, pretty sorry, contractor, I must say, he was. So anyway, I'm, I've done a dry run because I don't have room to wiggle my pipes any because of going through the footer, under the footer. And so I had to create me a section here and I just lift up, lift in and put me two rubber sleeves on both sides. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Put in a new clean out because we noticed we was digging around and it had been cracked for a while. You could see there was a sewage had been leaking around it, around this fitting. So we got a new one for it. You can see how this yard drops way off, it goes way down the, into a valley there. With a, that's where the uh, the uh, leach field is located. So we've got a new trap, and I got got one so we can clean out either direction. So that should work out pretty good. So I'll just take it all back apart, start gluing and clamping, and uh, we'll almost have this project done. All right, so now you can see now see now the pipes are nice and straight. We're fixing to do a test run. Going upstairs, going to flush the toilet and run some water. Go ahead here and see what the trip looks like. So we should should have some flow here shortly. That good flow. Looks good, looks good. Make sure there's no leaks on the other side. Everything dry over here, sweet pea? Yep. Alrighty, super duper. Alright, well we just all we gotta do get your shovel and fill that hole up. We'll be done. Woo! Super Y. To the rescue. <laughs> oh, and you may also notice I put a, a clean out where it goes either direction. So that way if we have a clog ever in the future, we can go that that direction or, or out into the into the yard. That a ways. So and let's go inside and look at the uh, other part. And you can see we got a clean out in here. So behind the so if there ever is a problem in the future, we have total access on both both directions. I got me a piece of paneling here to put up to seal that up. So I think it all turned out pretty well for for someone like me who's not a plumber. All right, I see. Sweepy did such a good job raking up that all that gravel and filling up that hole, just like it never happened. There you go. Show you outside. Da, 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 da. Got the rocks all put back in place. So recap, why we had to do this is the contractor didn't do his job correctly. So years later, someone like me has to come along and do it and hopefully do it right. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. See you, bye.